GG's Ganon is his best character, but against like some certain matchups, Sephiroth or Me Brawler might be a better pick. Like I remember the Arcadian he used Sephiroth against Grim Turtle and was able to win that. This is Rob is definitely rough, but Spacey's into Ganon, not the worst for Ganon. Maybe except for Falco. Alright. Very patient neutral from DG. Hunger playing a bit aggressive considering it's how dangerous it is if he gets caught once as we're seeing right here gets that 66 off stage. And he loses his stock for it. That recovery is very abusable by Ganondorf. <laughs> a lot of the cast, but Ganondorf especially. Hunger is um now he does need to play a bit more aggressive, but I think in that first stock, if he had played a little bit more passive and just try to figure out BG before risking losing a neutral interaction like that, it might have worked out a little bit better. But he's doing a pretty good job right now. Racked up 103, only taken 17 himself. And now it's just a matter of can he find this kill when the Nair Up Smash will still connect the good stuff, I believe he calls it. And up smash almost. <laughs> Hitting that would have not killed, but done quite a bit of percent. And Hunger's at 59. Does get up attack. Good stuff. This is where it gets terrifying. Ganondorf can kill you with like a back air. He puts you in disadvantage, finds like an up smash, a forward air. So much can just kill you. Meanwhile, as Fox, you're like trying to find this specific nair or down air. Maybe like a back air at the ledge, but I don't think that's going to kill just yet. It does catch him up out his jump and good recognition. VG tends to not air dodge that much, he usually like attacks out of disadvantage or he'll jump out and there he had lost his jump so Hunger was like, okay, you're either going to swing or hopefully not air dodge and catches it, but gets put off stage, loses his stock for it. Um, yeah, it's, uh, that happens very often in this matchup. If you uh, saw Light versus uh, Nairo at Old Major where he got the reverse 3-0, large pattern you'll see is even if Light was like able to keep up in neutral or like push his advantage while well, he'd just get put off stage once and just lose those stuff so quickly and right here we might see it again not quite Hunger doing a good side B to the ledge doesn't get caught by the F smash that BG had waiting for him BG probably expecting like a slightly high side B and a bit of panic but BG's landed a few more hits and he's dead again <laughs> And that is why this matchup is incredibly terrifying if you are Fox. You... All three stocks, he was under 100, got put off stage once, and just lost his stock for it. He made it back once successfully to stage from a decent off stage position. Northern Cave might not have been like the greatest pick. I think he's probably taking him to PS2. I'd imagine that would be Hunger's best choice because of the space he has to work with. Plus, I think Hunger just really likes PS2. And yeah, PS2. Hunger's definitely going to need to play a bit more patient while he still can afford to and isn't down. Because if VG gets these first few interactions, you have to approach him and you do not want to approach him. And he's very clearly demonstrating that. He's playing this very patient, still loses the neutral interaction, takes 60 for it. VG gets another win. Hunger able to break out, but his damage is uh, not quite equivalent because Fox is dying earlier very consistently. We'll see if he can manage to close out this stock, but right now this is. Oh, and he gets the Nair Up Smash. As uh, Fox is linear in killing because uh, he's technically consistent at killing, but if you avoid that Nair and Down Air well, then you're probably not going to be dying at anywhere before like 130 at least but sometimes if Fox is able to like make a good outplay and then you do get caught by that pretty often like you see light sets he's so good at finding those nares and just as I say that VG did also find his first stock and is pushing it very hard Hunger already at 80 does manage to retaliate a bit yet 70 has him at the ledge not letting go right now and that jab lock just didn't work for some reason that was really odd and probably cost him their stock. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't cost him the game, but we'll see what happens with it. And he gets caught by that, doesn't quite get the tech on the up B. Weird choice to try and edgeguard Ganon, especially with a character like Fox, but 
Doesn't take too much for it, only 9%. Definitely not the worst. Meiji looking for an opening, does find it. Gets that quick 60 on. Hunger trying to just find this neutral win and like take it far enough, but you are feeling the pressure right now. BG is one game away from winning. You are at kill percent, but he does manage to find this 80% of his own. Back to neutral. This is where it gets scary. BG is really good at just giving up the space from of center stage if it means he can get that one opening on you, and it's definitely worth it for him usually. Even if he loses a few neutral interactions, he can more than make up for it. But Hunger at the ledge, just barely managed to squeak through the nares with some good timing. Down air, almost killing straight up. Hunger above VG, does make his way out, but VG does have a lot of this stage right now. Hunger can't really afford to lose this neutral interaction, and he does get it. Beautiful nair into the jab lock, this time working into an up smash. Very close game. Hunger just cleaned up how he was killing a lot, and... Um, how much he was getting per interaction, because like you saw that first interaction where he got like 80 off one hit and some up tilts in there. And he definitely also played that early game pretty passive. VG taking back to Northern Cave, he did get the win here. It's Northern Cave is weird because yeah, it's big, but there's also some uh what do you the platforms or lack thereof in the center stage make it so that you can kinda there's less space to move around Ganondorf, and it can be quite bad sometimes. That was cute. Hungry getting a quick 36 on with the nice little jab jab grab. VG, uh, trying to find this opening right now, but Hunger's not giving it to him. He's jumpless. This might be the stock if Hunger pushes it well, but whiz kick. That was a good option, though, from VG as well, because he was in a very tricky spot. So, like, trying a different option or, like, something that most players aren't going to expect at that point. Hunger at 63, VG at 110, I think this stock is just going to come down to can Hunger kill, and it might determine how this game goes as well. And does catch the F smash from the ledge jump, that was not how I was expecting that kill to go down, but does get it, jumpless, and he's probably dead for it. There, oh, doesn't quite find the forward air actually, good uh, use of the wall to like stall his upbeat, just barely jumping around that up smash and just pushing this advantage and gets caught. Event finally, um, does lose that stock. VG 36, but this 36 is basically meaningless. Does push it up now, 65, that's definitely a bit more meaningful. Wishing it even more great Harry. Just Hunger is not letting this advantage go, and when he does, he's just playing it so patient to where VG isn't able to find that neutral opening. VG does find it, but not able to get the right read on the side B, and Hunger is right back into this advantage. Okay, you're like Wolf could kill, go and just run off Nair there, but not as worth for Fox. VG at 142 does manage to break through the corner pressure and has Hunger now at the ledge, but Hunger timing his jump, just gets that quick back air, closes out that stock. Again, Hunger is just closing out these stocks pre-150 very consistently, and uh, the first stock too was like pre-130, which is pretty good for this matchup. And he's just really not letting these leads go, man. He <laughs> finds that one hit and is just like, you will not get your neutral win <laughs> if my life depends on it. And it does. It is interesting to see because VG is definitely, I feel like, going a bit more into uh, slightly more aggressive with some nares that are retreating rather than just like straight up retreating and trying to like whiff punish, which is definitely not working out as well because like that, Hunger was able to whiff punish the nares with his own nares and find the big fox stuff that fox wants off of it. And another back here at the ledge doesn't quite close it out, but he's jumpless, that's it. Good stuff from Hunger, closes it out 2-1, definitely... Uh, figured out a bit on how to work in that matchup as after that game one.